Hey guys, I thought I would make a video on my uh, key collection this far. This is all of them. I don't uh, know how many there is, um, but there is a bunch. Shall we start with car keys? <laughs> what is this? Opal cars. This is just a big mess. Uh, what else do we have? Sure. I also have an old Yamaha, Citroen, Rover, a bunch of different things old, Volkswagen, there is a lot of different things, Ford, some that I don't know, there is a bunch of car keys, I have no idea about these, I don't really know anything about cars. I have these for whatever they are for. But they are for something. Now we get into something I know a little bit more about. Okay, we have lever keys. Get a hold of this. Come on. These keys are stuck. There we go. Alright, what do we have? That's an ERA. That's just an old Danish lever key. And we have two uh, Rex Neuler. Uh, keys, sorry. Uh, Hankov key. Don't know what this is for, I guess, for a padlock. Pretty big one. Some cabinet lock uh, key here. Pretty one. I think this is for a cabinet as well. And a bunch of padlock keys with no brand on. Some more of those. This is one I really do like. I have the uh, lock for this. Just need to get the tools and get it picked before it gets in my collection. The last two lever keys here is... I can't even read what it say, except number 24. And then this tiny little, little padlock key. That was the lever keys. And we have some dimple keys here lock that's for a Chinese, cheap Chinese lock. Uh, dumb. That is a copy of a key. This is a multi-lock. I think this is just a cheap one again. And another, but a little bit, maybe smiley, uh, dimple lock. Key. And the last two is another of these cheap Chinese lock keys. And then a ARFE key. We have some sliders here. What does it say? Urban and Mason. On guard, and the last one doesn't have a name. Then we have American lock keys. Almost the same. What do we have here? Berg Victor. There's a long weird key and a 
Berg, um, Warded Key, and another Berg, Warded Key, and then two Berg Vector Padlock Keys here. Um, this is made in Finland. It's an Ava. I can't remember. I, I was told what this was for, but I don't remember. And I have no idea on these two. There is no name on any of them. But they're weird. Then we have some crosslock keys. Uh, the first one is a no name, that one. The second one is a C's icon. And these, I believe, is for different Bosch tool uh, boxes and stuff like that. do we have here? That is wafer keys. We have an Alex AYL. I don't know what that stands for. Just the number on the other side, 505. So what does this say? Alibird, I think it's a This is a Illinois and a Basta Click. What is this? Uh, that is a no name. And that is, I don't think it's a no name, but it's so old and worn that I can't read it. I can, anyway. That is a Ronis and Journey and something I can't read. Some small bundles here. These name are named Kato, just a big and a small one. Then I have two disk detainer keys from Chinese locks, a small and a big one. And these are Caesar keys. These are Bison and and about set con locks uh, lock keys and then we have train trains sorry there is an s on as well trains keys a big and a small one i guess it's for a 30 and a 40 millimeter And what is this? Union. That's quite a nasty bidding. Made in England. What do we have here? Neyman. Another brand on these. Uh, 
Then we have viral. And what do we have here? Chini, I think it's pronounced. C-H-E-N-E-Y, made in, in, made in England. Then we have some Yale keys. both new and old. And castle. There's a lever key and a pin tumbler key. Okay, that was a big one. So this. What do we have here? Euro locks. There's one that uh, I think all of these are wafers, but one of them is only single sided. What do we have here then? That is Mefa. Both of these are wafer keys. And then got got security. I'm just trying to take off these small bundles first. What do we have? Yes, safe. Or just safe. I don't know how you would say it in English, but uh, I only know how it is in English, uh, Danish. <laughs> and I honestly don't know what these are. I know they are cheap Chinese keys, but don't really know more than that. You have the locks for them, which you can see in another video at some point when I share my lock collection. And these are pack lock keys. These are lockable keys. These are Abus keys. This is for an Abus Plus disk container lock. And then just a bunch of different sized and bidding uh, bitted keys. This is an older one. And then there 
use two, a newer and an old wafer uh, of these Apis keys. And then the last of the Apis keys, a little bit old one for I think it's a 30 millimeter, maybe a 40. Then we have different um, water keys. And whatever this is, I have no idea. Indac. I think that's the only one of that brand I have. Which is why it is in this bundle. This is a Mitalino. I actually have one of the locks of these. Here's a Prime, uh, no, uh, Optimus, not Primus, Optimus. This is an old one without a brand. Uh, what did we get to? It's on those, okay. That was the um, warded keys. Then we have Ruko keys. This is for a Ruko Garant. These two are some old Ruko lever keys this is a Ruko system key and this is as well but from a different system this is a bigger system key for a six pinner And then we have two uh, standard Ruko keys, it seems. And then a Ruko Junior. I don't think you... Yeah, there we go. You can see that. Don't have one of those locks. And this is just a normal as a Ruko uh, six pin key for six... Uh, 600 um, series lock. That was all of the bundles. Then I just have a bunch of loose keys. Like, I don't have any idea what this is for at all. But it's a sort of a key, so it's in my collection. And then, three lock. Hmm. I don't know where this is from or what it's for, but it's there. And a Hebo. This, I have no idea what the brand is, but there isn't a picture of an arrow. Come on, camera.
This is a Corbin Roswin. With a nice bidding. And I don't know what this is either, but it's cool. A little bit bent, but a cool lock, uh, key. And a PKS. With a nasty bidding. This is a Tessa. And this is a Maxis key. And a Loxinox. And a Tubular key. Just a cheap one. And then we have a kiss key. <laughs> and a something I can't read. A WS, whatever that is. And this is just a cheap Chinese key. Oh, this is actually a Illinois. I had another of those. Those have to be in a bundle. And no brand on this one. No brand on this either. This is a OME. And this is a Made in Spain Reaper. This is a Batu. And this is a Milaco. What is this? It's made in England, but I. Oh, WB. And here is a GP. Oh, no, sorry, not GP, just G. I don't know where I got that G f uh, P from. And we have a RS. And a Nico. And no, the only thing I can see is an F and something that I can't read. A Pepe's made in Brazil. This is a Brinks key. And a sap. And 
This is a, I think it's JMP or JMD or A, I'm not sure. And this is a Dublin. For a garage at some point, but it isn't anymore. This is mm, just some letters and numbers. This is also a WB. Need to get those together again. And I can't read this, maybe somebody here can. This is a D lock key, sorry, not lock. I keep saying lock. <laughs> Another OME. Need to get those together. This is for a Centurion made in USA. And the last three is Something here. J T I C. And this is a Burke. That should also get into the bundle. And the last one is a Hero. So that's my whole key collection. <laughs> That was quite a long video, but uh, I hope that some will enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Remember, skill always beats luck and have a great day.